Well, we're going to introduce you to a very cool new business coming to Omaha. It's called Cheer Athletics, and it is part of the top all-star cheer uh, gym company in the entire world. We have the local owners with us, Tiffany Wolf and Sarah Carpenter. Tiffany and Sarah, good morning and welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Good to have you guys with us. And uh, a lot of people um, who are in the cheer world know all about it. Those of us who are not, this is kind of new to us. So let's start before we talk about the business about what is All-Star Cheer? How big is it? And and, and why is it becoming so popular uh, around the world? I know, but you, you can tell the audience and Jeff. <laughs> All-Star Cheer is just a huge sport. It's a huge different cheerleading than high school cheer. They're doing more stunting, more tumbling, a lot more team stuff um, that Omaha or area high schools don't do. Okay, and then I also understand it was recently declared an Olympic sport. It's still kind of in the, um, what is it, the The trial phase. The the approval phase, but we're hoping that it's going to be you know, within the next couple of years. So. Okay, so it's it's on its way to be an official then. Correct. Okay. okay. I read about that in my uh, cheerleading monthly. Uh, <laughs> when I was a child, you know, I, that's a red flag when guys like you order. Okay, go that's ahead. That's true. When when I was a, a child and, and it had uh, cheer athletics been around uh, back then, I probably would have done that. But I, instead, I went. I became a body contortionist, and and uh, <laughs> and I think I really, really would have liked uh, cheerleading. <laughs> well. <laughs> You were just born too soon, evidently. So, but but back to (laughs) cheer athletics. (laughs) Okay, so um, the company was started in the Dallas area and is headquartered in the Dallas area. It's become popular, and now it's it's reached a level of prestige that is is really amazing. Yeah, it really has. So, um, the Plano, Texas location is the original location, um, and that started about twenty five years ago. And um, just this past year, the um, world's team out of Plano actually performed on America's Got Talent oh. and made it through the second round and did an absolutely fabulous job. And anybody who um, got a chance to watch that, I mean, those athletes are just absolutely amazing. And um, to see what they can do and the abilities that just keep growing and growing within the sport is pretty phenomenal. And we you really be- helped put it on the map, like helped put all-star cheerleading on the map for people that didn't hadn't even seen it. I mean, even the judges were shocked that this was something so different that they had never seen. I mean, there's a lot of athleticism and, and skill and and obviously practice that goes into it. And, and um, cheer athletics, you're, you're going to you're going to be near 144th. And um, what is that? 144th and Highway 370. 370. Three, Highway 370. In the RNR but, Commerce but, Park. But you've got a temporary facility on Portal Road. Talk about um, what you're looking for as, as far as, do you call them students or are they members? What do they're, you? They're athletes. Athletes? Okay. Yep, athletes. Student athletes. Yep. Um, so our location, um, unfortunately, has been delayed due to the, like you mentioned, the construction with Amazon taking over all of the, the product. Um, so we're hoping to be in our permanent home um, in July. Um, so for now, we have a temporary space on 104th and Portal Road, um, the old Defy Gravity. Um, so we'll have our tryouts and start our practices and um, do all that there for now. And it's going to be a great space. We put a lot of work into getting that up and running. Um, so we'll actually start this week um, hosting camps and clinics. Um, and our ages run from three up to, you know, 20 as far as um, our teams go. And it was really a blessing. Sarah and I both um, went through a really long process to bring cheer athletics to Omaha. And it's something that we're both extremely passionate about because the sport is Obviously, it's a sport, but it's so much more in developing character, developing passion and drive, work ethic, um, and it's something that we both are, are striving to really, you know, bring a whole new level of that to Omaha and um, develop these kids into just great human beings. And it's it's more than athletics and 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 cheerleading and uh, flipping in the air and stuff like that. You're you're, you're teaching them character, and um, y- you also invest in in their well-being right a hundred percent that's really important to us is to be to know the kids know their what that's going on in their life really be present and be this is their extra home that's their home away from home so if they have anything they need they can always go to us and know that we care about them and we are interested and invested in them also no this is boys and girls correct yep now, the uh, the company, as we said, started in uh, the Dallas area, Plano, but it's my understanding that Omaha is the 10th location. Mm-hmm. What are some of the other locations 
And um, was it was it hard to convince them to come to Omaha? Because most of the other locations, when I looked at the list, were uh, substantially larger markets. It it was definitely about a six month journey for us to um, get this whole thing going. Um, lots of interviews and um, zooms and all of that and. Um, it wasn't too hard to convince just because we care so much about this sport and their decision and what they, you know, brought back to us was it was our character and our passion and drive for the sport and knowing that the brand would be in good hands here in Omaha. And that was really what um, was kind of the solidifying factor with them um, as far as letting us have that franchise. So it's it's, it's very much a team sport, but are there – are there cheerleading icons like we, we know Mary Lou Retton in gymnastics and Carrie Strug and, and and people like that? Are are there in the industry or are there well known uh, cheerleading uh, graduates? Yes, yes. There's a <laughs> they're, lot. They're cheerleberties. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's I mean, I have I have yeah. a lot of the the, the the trading cards at home, but um, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, um, there are. Yeah. So um, one of the they biggest... going to be teachers or. A lot of them go on to be coaches. Um, some have gone on to be gym owners. Um, YouTube probably, stars. <laughs> oh, yes, very much so. Um, one of the biggest names right now in the sport is Gabby Butler, um, and she was on Cheer on um, Netflix. Um, she was on that show. Um, she's very well known. Is that I mean, a series or what is it? It was a series on Netflix, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just um, wanted to clarify that for Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be watching that tonight now, Jeff. There are a lot of celebrities. There are a lot of athletes though that come from cheer athletics that go to colleges on full ride scholarships. They're able to cheer in college, go and get that scholarship from being on such a prestigious team and working really hard. Mm -hmm. Now it's my understanding that because cheer athletics is so popular and there are not very many of them uh, in the country and um, not within a couple few hundred miles of Omaha. Is this the type of thing that will draw people, uh, customers, into the the Omaha area who live substantially away from the city? Yes. Um, I actually just had a conversation with a mom who lives up in Pisner, um, mm-hmm. and they're willing to drive down here to practice mm-hmm. um, because they're so excited about having cheer athletics here in Omaha. Um, we know families that live, especially like on the East Coast, that drive three and a half hours. Um, there's kids down in the Dallas area that we know um, drive – six, seven hours sometimes just to get to practices. So it's a very dedicated, committed um, sport. It's unlike any other sport who has a bench where you can pull somebody up to, you know, fill in. Um, It is 100% team on the floor working together. Um, So there's not any, there's no backups necessarily. Yeah, I was actually thinking about, we were thinking about moving out of town until you guys announced. So pretty excited <laughs> about that. We definitely have a spot for you, Trenton. All right, yeah. On our open six team. It's okay. Got, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 the, yeah. it's the it's the it's the soon to be announced over fifty yeah. and out of shape team. My, my position. You no, know, it's a new division. We can make it happen. If, 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 <laughs> the over fifty and out of shape. That's yeah, my I'm, position is left out, right? <laughs> <laughs> bench warmer. You said there's not a bench, but for one guy. <laughs> At any rate, um, Sarah Carpenter and Tiffany Wolf, we appreciate you joining us. Best of success with Cheer Athletics. Uh, like we said, uh, eventually a permanent location at Highways 50 and 370, but temporary location on Portal Road. Um, May 1st yep. is the big yep. the big yep. day. What's the yep. website? Um, it's going to be www.cheerathletics.com, and then you just search for the location, and okay. we're Omaha. Okay. Outstanding. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Thank guys for guys. having us and for all your support. You bet. Tiffany Wolf and Sarah Carpenter, Cheer Athletics. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.